as we all know, a huge hurricane has swept through a large chunk of the United States, and the response to this hurricane disaster coming from Trump versus Biden and Kamala is basically the polar opposite, okay? While Biden is out on a beach house vacationing during this past weekend during the entire disaster that was going on, and Kamala is who knows where trying to raise money for her presidential campaign, Trump has actually been out there on the field, on the ground, with disaster response teams trying to help aid people who need help with everything that is going on. And the, the important thing that I want to show in this entire video that we're going to be talking about today is the response between someone who has a presidential response, who's actually taking leadership actions to help people, which of course is Trump, versus someone who is basically spending time just vacationing during most of the disaster that is going on. Trump is out there and he completely obliterates Biden for his response to everything. And not only that, but Trump and Elon Musk are both working together to try to aid people who need help. And of course, I just want to say that my heart goes out to everyone who has, of course, been affected by this hurricane disaster. Let us know in the comments below if you have been affected so that we can uh, pray for you. We can send any help that we can your way. Let us know how we can help and all of that stuff. I'd appreciate that. So let us know in the comments. But make sure that you also share this video because I think it's important for people to see the distinction between how Trump has responded to the hurricane disaster and he's not even president right now versus the guy who is supposed to be president. It's actually pretty insane. Have you reached out to President Biden about federal relief efforts? No, I haven't reached out to him. No, we, uh... I think he's sleeping right now, actually. Biden was even asked about his pathetic response by a reporter, and this is what he had to say in response. This is insane. So President, President, Trump President to retaliate. On the hurricane, Mr. President, why weren't you and Vice President Harris here in Washington commanding this this weekend? I was commanding. I was on the phone for at least two hours yesterday and the day before as well. I command. It's called a telephone. It's all my security people. Is it not important for the country to see? I was on the phone for two hours yesterday. Oh, man, dude, he's really putting in the work to help the American people right now. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel that Biden and Harris, who have sent billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine... Do you really feel that they are really helping the American people right now? I was commanding. I was on the phone for two hours yesterday. Oh, wow. So much work. He was at the beach which is actually not even a lie. Well, 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 would you look at that? Biden is at the beach, and we even have New York Times confirming that this is true. It appears President Joe Biden will be spending the weekend at his North Shores home beginning Friday, September 27th, arriving after morning trip to Scranton, Pennsylvania, leaving Monday, September 30th. So there you go. Biden seeks elusive low profile as a turbulent summer winds to a close. The president returned to his refuge in Delaware and hardly emerged as his job continued to pace locals understood but said they missed getting ice cream with him mm. yes that is the important thing with your president uh, being able to get ice cream with him right but trump's response to everything has been what a president should be doing it's actually pretty insane what is actually going on here The governor's doing a very good job. He's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. I guess uh, they're not they're not being responsive. The federal hey, you can't say that. He was on the phone for two hours. Two hours, guys. The federal government is not being responsive, but they're having a very hard time getting the uh, getting the president on the phone. He won't get on, and of course, the vice president she's out someplace campaigning, uh, looking for money. So they gotta be. They have to be focused over here. This is a really bad one, and uh, the governor's doing a good job, but he's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. Trump didn't stop there. Homes, hospitals, highways, and cars have been plunged underwater. Entire neighborhoods have been turned into lakes. Nobody's seen anything like it, and to every family that's been displaced here in Georgia and North Carolina, who's which has really been hit. We we're going there also, and. Uh, they don't have communication. They don't have anything right now that they're we're trying to I just spoke to Elon. I'm getting him. I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever. And Elon Elon will always come through. We know that. And so we're working on that, getting them hooked up. They asked me whether or not that would be possible. 
We're going to try and get the Starlink in there as soon as possible because they have no communication. And throughout the region, our hearts are with you, and we are uh, going to be with you as long as you need it. It's called an hour of need. You're in our prayers. You can actually see with this disaster who is acting more like a president during everything that is going on. And I, th I don't think I need to spell it out. You know, it's pretty obvious who is actually responding to this like a president should and who isn't. Let me know what you think about everything that is going on. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.